So this is my first experiment with the ESP8266 chip. You can see the actual chip just here. It's got the main processor there and it's also got Wi-Fi built in. The rest of this board is a development board, so this is giving us the ability to program the chip and providing some voltage regulation. And as a first experiment, I just wanted to do a fairly classic test of setting up some traffic lights. This has a slight difference though. Uh, so there are a couple of things going on here that I just want to talk through. Originally, this was designed to work as a push button. So the idea is someone will push the button and that would initiate the change of the traffic lights. So once I get back to green and after a couple of seconds, I can press the button and that would activate the sequence. And you'll then see that the lights here will change up to red, go through the classic pause and come back down to green again. But uh, I made a couple of changes because, well, why not when you're experimenting? So the first thing I did was make use of this Wi-Fi. And this program is connected up to a website. So every few seconds it polls the website. So it's got a specific page on it and that page returns a one or a zero. If it returns a 1, it activates the push button automatically. So we're demonstrating some basic communications here. I can go to the website, I can set it to 0, so it'll stop doing this. But at the moment, it's just hardwired to 1, so it's constantly going through this loop. A great little test to make sure that all of this is working, and so far it's been very smooth. The second thing I did was try and change these traffic lights slightly. So you might notice they don't instantly come on and they don't instantly go off. There's a slight fade in, fade out. I wanted to get the effect of older style traffic lights where you have the uh, warming up and you, the cooling down as they switch off. They go from their colour to, to off to black again. So you'll see a very slight fade in, fade out effect here going to red. And then as they come back down again, the amber will sort of fade in and then both of those will disappear. What's happening here is that there is a small loop going on. It changes the on and off frequency of the LEDs ever so slightly. For a human, you can't really see the flickering, but you just see the fade in, fade out effect. If I had a slow motion video, you'd probably be able to see it a lot better. I think the effect is nice, it adds a little bit extra, and crucially for a test, it's been a great way to get to grips with the languages and the chip and all its capabilities. So for now, for a first test, I think it's done pretty well.